one of the current focuses on my research is to, uh, we try to understand uh, uh, which can be the results of immune therapy. In other words, uh, when you treat patients with the new drugs, uh, the new drugs are immunological drugs, are biological drugs that work on the immune system. The results are in some cases absolutely fantastic. I think of melanoma. In melanoma patients, uh, the five-year survival has completely changed uh, thanks to the use of drugs uh, that target uh, immunological checkpoints. The problem is that in other kinds of tumors, like the lung tumors or in kidney tumors, they work very well only in a small percentage of patients. The other patients do not have any benefit of such immune therapies. So one of the questions is why these sort of treatments work well in a group of patients and they don't work in others. So the best thing, what we want to do all the time is to collect blood, to take the blood from the hospital or from uh, my, the clinics to our lab, which is five minutes, more or less uh, time, 10 minutes uh, if it rains, and then uh, to treat immediately blood, to stain blood and to solve cells. This is important, uh, it's very important to study the functionality of the immune system. If you put cells at minus 80 or in uh, liquid nitrogen, it's not natural, it's not normal. I mean, nobody goes there even in the real life. And of course, uh, if you work with fresh cells, you have the physiology of the immune system. So this is why I think that uh, for the immunology lab, it is crucial to have uh, a cell sorter and use the cell sorter on fresh material. And before having a cell sorter, uh, we were a little bit in trouble because we, we needed to isolate cells. So for many years, uh, me or people uh, in my group had to go in other places because we don't have any core facility here for cell sorting. So we had to move to go around Europe uh, or Italy as well. Then uh, we had the possibility to use uh, an S3E and uh, really our life uh, changed uh, a lot, I have to say. My research focused on the behavior of this cell after the reactivation of the immune system due to the use of uh, checkpoint inhibitors in cancer onset. So, for example, we are studying the reactivation of the immune system after uh, uh, the use of checkpoint inhibitors in patients suffering from renal carcer carcinoma and melanoma. I perfectly know when the drug has been administered because we had a schedule of the patient coming to the clinics. So 10 minutes after the administration of the checkpoint inhibitors, we go to the hospital and get the blood and go back to the lab in order to do our experiments. I need to, to go directly to my lab after the collection in the hospital because I have to avoid any kind of modification that could happen among T cells. And in particular, if we are studying metabolic status or functionality of this cell, we need to be really fast in work and isolate on this cell and to go after with further molecular analysis because RNA is really sensible to the temperature and also DNA modifications. feeling more confident about my data by, in, uh, by using S3E cell sorter in our lab because I can sort living cells, fresh cells coming directly from the blood of patient within, and within four hours I can sort the cells and go for further analysis which could be RNA extraction and RNA analysis or, um, or DNA extraction and DNA analysis. What I find very exciting is now the possibility to discover new biomarkers, new molecules that can be targeted for an eventual de possible development of new drugs or eventually new strategies. We have to remember that our main mission is to help people with cancer. This is the main goal that we have, of course. And all the strategies that we can develop to study new mechanisms, new targets, new things is that the result has to be applicable and has to be translatable to patients to help them and to save lives. Mm -hmm.